So today we're trying a really cool crayfish pattern. A really good one. In Sweden we have a huge tradition in August to eat crayfish uh, and so does the perch. What I like with this one is that it's basically however you do it, it always kind of like turn the right side up. Uh, it's a little bit time consuming but it's a little bit simple but it's quite simple. The whole uh, star of the fly is these two uh, double tails in skin. Um, these are taking the water quite a lot, so when, when you're fishing them, they really look like it's an angry crawfish on the bottom, and they swim backwards, of course, you know, so, so they look like it's, um, it's um, fleeing away. This is a crawfish tail, uh, which is usually put in the front uh, of the fly like this, but I have put it in the back here, so it's underneath, just because it makes the fly stand really well, and it really makes the balance of this fly. Then the weight is a dumbbell in the front instead. And then I put some UV varnish in the, underneath here. So it makes a very flat surface and very natural. So these hackles here are only supposed to be like small legs. So the bottom side of it is not that cool, but that's not what the fish sees in any case. So it doesn't matter. Uh, so we're using this tail here as a balance and we use these dumbbells as a weight. And we're gonna tie it on the um, bent streamer from Arix, which has this little bit um, pre-bent, it's actually pre-bent in 26 degrees, which makes it really kind of lift from the bottom the right way.
So here we have it, uh, my take on a very simple uh, but slightly time consuming crawfish. Uh, it's a very durable pattern and it's fishing really, really well. So if you want to have a chance to win this one, uh, please subscribe, uh, leave a comment in the thread and uh, well, you might just be the guy who's gonna, or girl, who's gonna be fishing this in a few weeks. Good luck.